Welcome back my dear students to the offline video series of biology of class 6. Today we are going to study about cell size and cell theory. After that we are going to study about how cell works as a structural unit of life. Before that let us revise what we studied in the previous video. In previous video, we studied about unicellular and multicellular organisms. After that, we studied about different shapes of the cell. So, unicellular organisms are the organisms which consist of one single cell. And multicellular organisms are the organisms which consist of more than one cells. That means thousands, millions and billions of cells. After that, we studied about different shapes of the cells. The cell consists of different shapes like spherical, oval, cylindrical, cuboid, amoeboid, etc. Now, in this video, we are going to study about cell size and cell theory. So, first, we will start with the cell size. Maximum number of cells are very small in size that it is not possible to notice them with the naked eye. So, in such cases, such type of cells are observed under the microscope. There are large varieties of cells which are very small and are observed only under microscopes. The largest cell are of ostrich egg. The longest cell are the nerve cells which are up to 3 meters and the smallest cell are the cells of bacteria which are up to 2 to 3 micrometers. The next topic which we are going to study is cell theory. Three scientists, Schleden, Vikro and Schwann proposed a cell theory to the world. In this cell theory, they declared four statements. And the cell theory consists of, first statement, all the living things consist of one or many cells. The second statement is, the cell is the structural unit of life. The third statement is, the cell is the functional unit of life. And the fourth and the last statement is, all the cells arises from the pre-existing cells. The next topic which we are going to study is cell, the structural unit of life. All the cells consist of different size and shapes, but their fundamental structure and functioning is same. If you notice a small part of plant under a microscope, irrespective of whether it is a part of root, whether it is a part of leaf, or whether it is a part of stem, you will notice that it is made up of small minute unit called as cells. The next topic which we are going to study is cell, the functional unit of life. That means how cell works as a functional unit of life. First, we will study about the plant cell. Afterwards, we will study about the animal cell. So, plant cell consists of two types, root cell and leaf cell. Root cells are the cells which are present at the root part of the plant and leaf cells are the cells which are present at the leaf part of a plant. The main function of root cells is absorption of water and mineral from the soil and transfer it to all the green and non-green parts of the plant. The function of leaf cell is to prepare its own food. The process of preparing food in plants is called as photosynthesis. For photosynthesis, four important components are required and they are Chlorophyll pigments which are already present on the surface of the leaf. Second, sunlight or energy which they get from the sun. Third, water which they get from the 
soil and fourth carbon dioxide which they get from the surrounding in animals cells consist of mainly four types and they are muscle cells nerve cells gland cells and skin cells so the muscle cells are the cells which are present at the muscular part of the body the function of these cells is to contract and relax according to the situation the second type of cells are nerve cell the function of these cells is to communicate between brain and different parts of the body through messages via impulse the third type of cells are gland cells gland cells secrete some enzymes which are used in the process of digestion in human body one example for gland cells is salivary gland which secretes saliva in the mouth fourth type of cells are skin cells skin cells are the cells which are present on the skin of the body usually the function of these skin cells is to regulate the body temperature and to protect the body from viruses bacteria and the harmful ultraviolet rays